Barcelona great, Xavi Hernandez returned this season to his beloved Barcelona, taking over a sinking ship from Ronald Koeman. The club has been in debt for over 1 billion euros, caused by the previous board. In today's video we take a look at Xavi's tactics and how he is trying to get Barcelona back to the top. This won't be easy but at least there is a lot of optimism, especially from the youngsters coming through the academy. He wants his players to press high, trying to win the ball high up the pitch as possible, looking to turn over the ball in the opponent's half. His wing backs tend to press the opponent's wingers to close down gaps out wide, because teams tend to exploit the wings knowing that Barca's full backs are very attack minded. But if they go forward in a high press, the wing backs press the opponent's full backs while cutting out the passing lanes to the wingers. Cutting out passing lanes go a long way in a high press, because it's basically like having more players than the opponents. Xavi wants this because he wants to commit more players forward to have an effective press. Barca's high press is executed precisely. They press from an angle to force the opposition on one side. We have seen this in Munich and Seville as well. Not only do you smother the opposition, but it makes it really hard to play through the press, because you have little space to do it. So Xavi forces the opposition to be accurate, because pressing this way means that the opponent's players wide open are very far away from the ball. So a long ball over to the other side would give Barca enough time for the opposite wing back to put pressure on the player who has the ball. Barca would still have cover shifting to a back four at any time. So again Barcelona can shift over to the other side, while the opposition again have their open players far away from the ball. But Xavi have a slightly different approach to teams that does play well out from the back. There's not too much difference because he wants his players to have a clear idea all the time. The press this time is not as intense. They want the ball to be played out wide first, and then they also look to press from an angle with the same principles. They cut the pitch in half. The team moves as a unit, to do the same as against smaller teams. The same principles because Xavi doesn't want to confuse the players. So he wants them to have a clear idea of what he wants them to do. In the mid-phase, when teams do get through the press, Xavi wants central progression to be cut off. The revert into a 5-4-1, so when the ball goes wide the wingers put pressure on the fullbacks, with the forward marking the deep-lying players extensively. Xavi seems to like a compact shape in the middle by staying narrow. At times they play as 4-2-3-1 to match up in midfield to better adapt to the opponents. This leaves space on the wings for the opponents to exploit. But the team then shifts to whichever side the ball goes. When teams play backwards Barca starts to press high again to force the opposition into their own half. Then the cycle starts again. This defensive system is not working properly just yet. But if players starts to get used to doing this, it will surely become hard to deal with. Together with the counter-pressing, the Barca defense can only get better. Besides from cutting the pitch off in half, Xavi also compressed the field by playing a very high line. This is also to encourage teams to try and exploit the high line because Xavi knows that his defenders will win the aerial ball 99% of the time. The defenders get the ball first or the goalkeeper does. Defending the box, Xavi wants the same principles. Stay narrow and force the out wide. Then press from there to force the opposition backwards. 
the defense line also comes out to give the opponents little space to work with. Xavi's team is starting to adjust to his tactics. With a good showing against Telchi and a stunning performance against Seville, Barcelona's game plan is starting to fall in place. It's only good results that eludes them. We will soon be dropping another video explaining Xavi's tactics when in possession. It's part of a mini Xavi series we want to discuss this Christmas break. Thanks for watching. See you soon.